we're obviously living under a political climate where fear, uncertainty, and hate is plaguing our communities. Every day we wake up to news of families, law-abiding families, that are being ripped apart and separated from their loved ones. Actually, from here, I'm going to a rally at 26 Federal Plaza of a 32 BJ member's husband. She, being a US citizen, married um, to an undocumented individual, had a check-in today, was picked up, have a 12-month-old son, and is being detained. This is happening too often. And contrary to what they want you to believe, immigrants are the economic engine of our city, of our country, the backbone of our neighborhoods, and what makes this nation unique. So this is why the city council, working with this administration, is doing everything in its power to protect and defend our city's immigrants. And why I'm proud to have worked with the mayor and Chancellor Farina to, on today's new guidance for principals on how to address immigration and other law enforcement that would want to enter our schools. The guidance is vital for students and their families as it takes the guesswork out of interactions with ICE and other law enforcement in our schools. Importantly, it states clearly and unambiguously, ICE can't come in without a warrant signed by a judge, period.